welcome as we start on our journey into learning the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. If you haven't already done so, I encourage you to go back to part one and watch the introduction, as I believe it's important, leading into understanding the rest of the Hebrew letters. So the object of this series that we're doing on the Hebrew alphabet is to introduce you to each letter and their meanings. Unlike other languages, in the Hebrew language, each letter has a meaning or meanings. We are going to go through the different scripts of each letter and you will, and you will see the square block uh, script style. You will see the uh, pictograph script and the paleo script. So we'll go through all these different styles also. Now it is my prayer that upon understanding the Hebrew letters that it will ignite a spark within you to search out the deeper understanding of this wonderful language and that through doing so your Bible study will become much more meaningful. I know it will open your eyes and your heart further to see how wonderful and awesome our God is. So with that being said, let us move on to the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Aleph. And you can see it there on your screen. It's a, there's nothing really like it in, in English. But what is interest, also interesting is that in other ancient languages, there are a lot of similarities in the sound of these letters, which almost all linguists agree that all languages come from one language, an original source which is evident through the spelling and sounds of words in the ancient languages. For example, in Akkadian, this letter Aleph is Alfu. In Arabic, it is Alif. And in Greek, it is Alpha. So we see the, uh, the same sounds of this letter in the different languages. So now let's have a look at what this letter looks like in the paleo. So here we have on, on your screen this letter in the paleo. As we can see, it's quite different than the square script that we just looked at. It looks like an English capital A, but facing sideways. And the last script now that we'll look at is the pictograph, which are like pictures of what the letter is representing. So the pictograph for Aleph is what you see on the screen here. It's like a bull's head or an ox's head. This is what this letter looks like in the pictograph script. So let's have a look at the three forms now next to each, next to each other. We have the, uh, the modern square script there on the left. We have the paleo there on the, in the middle and the pictograph there on the right. So you can actually see a similarity between the pictograph and the paleo. The paleo looks like a sort of a stick drawing of an ox's head. So some of the meanings of the Hebrew letter Aleph are as follows. It means to be strong, a power, powerful, a leader, and authority. So that's the meaning, some of the meanings of this, of this Hebrew letter Aleph. In the grammar of the language, the letter Aleph is known as a quiescent. Quiescent means that it is a silent letter and that it needs a vowel to be able to pronounce it. For example, the Hebrew word Eleph has the same three-letter root as Aleph and all that has changed is the vowel under the first letter, which is an Aleph, from a A vowel to an E vowel. The word Eleph means 1,000 in Hebrew. So if it doesn't have a vowel, if the letter Aleph doesn't have a vowel under it, it will be silent. So here we have, we're going to go on now um, onto looking at some Hebrew words that begin with the letter Aleph. And our first word is El. And it means God, as in God. 
or God as in little gods, pagan gods. It's the same in Ugaritic. This is the same word used in the Ugaritic language. These letters are also found in many Hebrew names like Elijah, Elisha, and Daniel. So you see the L part in, all, in, in many Hebrew names. There you go. You just learned your first Hebrew word, L, which is God. And you can see that the L, God, is the authority, the strong one. He's above all. Another Hebrew word is Av, that begins with the letter Aleph, and it means father, patriarch, ancestor, leader, chief, master, and teacher. And in Aramaic, this is the word Abba. And many of us are probably familiar with the term Abba Father. Well, this is the Aramaic word for father, is Abba. So you can see that the father is the strong one, the leader, and the authority within the family and the house. So you see that connection there with the meaning of the letter Aleph, as the authority, the father, the strong one. Another word is Im. Im, and it, it means mother, matriarch. And in Aramaic, it is called Ima. Ima. So this is the Hebrew word Im for mother. Ark. Ark is the word for brother, kinsman, or friend in Hebrew. So again, we see that it starts with the letter Aleph. And our next word is Akoth. Akoth. And it, 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 it has the meaning of sister, female relative, kinswoman, and friend. Our next word is Ish. And it is, the, it is one of the Hebrew words for man. Husband. And it has that mas it's masculinity, masculine. And we see with our, our next word is Isha, which is similar, but it means woman. Woman, wife, and female in Hebrew. So we see again that they all start with the letter Aleph. Adam is our next word. And this word is another Hebrew word for man, but it more so the, the word for mankind, human being. It's the name of the first man, Adam. It also means to be red, literally meaning to be the colour of blood. Very interesting to what, maybe what Adam looked like. And our next word is connected to, the, the, to Adam, and it's the word Adama. And it means the ground, the soil, the earth, or the land. So we see a direct relationship here with this word and the previous word Adam. As Adam was formed, made from the ground, from the Adama, from the soil, the earth. Adam was made from Adama. So we see the direct connection between these two words. This word, uh, some of you or many of you may be familiar with. It's the, it, it's the word Adonai. And it is the, uh, it, it's translated in English as Lord, God, and Master, Adonai. Another Hebrew word that starts with Aleph is Ahav. Ahav, and this means to love. It's used of many different relationships, like man's love for his wife, our love towards God, our Father, and also the love of an object like food. So context obviously gives you what the, what the love is for. Another Hebrew word starts with Aleph is or. Or, and it means light, brightness and daylight. So when in the beginning, when Yahweh said, let there be light, he said, let there be awe. That's this word in Hebrew. Another one, uh, another word is oath. Oath, and this means in English a sign, a signal, 
a symbol, a mark, or a miracle. Oath. Just a few more words. Our next word is Amen. Now we've all heard of that, Amen. And it means faith, truth, so be it, truly, to be firm and trustworthy. Hebrew word Amen, which is brought across into the English almost exactly the same. Another Hebrew word is Emeth, Emeth, and it also means truth, firmness, faithfulness, stability, certainty, and reliable. Now, I just want to share a little bit on this word. It's an aleph, a mem, and a tower, the three letters that are made up from a reading from right to left. Now, this word, emeth, is made up of the first letter in the Hebrew alphabet, the middle letter, which is the mem in the Hebrew alphabet, and the last letter, which is the tau of the Hebrew alphabet. So this is showing, showing us that truth is from Aleph all the way through to Tau and everything in between. In English, we would say from A to Z. So this shows you in the very word Emeth, which means truth, that Yahweh's word is truth and the only truth as it is made up of all the separate letters of the Hebrew alphabet, which is truth. And our last letter that I want to show you is Ara, and this is our word for curse, what we use in English as curse. It's the Hebrew word Ara. So there are many other words that we could cover, but as you can see, that many people that we've, that we've discussed, like father, mother, man, woman, brother, sister, mankind, what these have in common are strong powerful and leaders as we know that mankind has dominion or authority over God's creation like the animals the ground the plants and the trees who many of them are given to us to mankind for food although the first letter is an aleph and is silent without a vowel it represents authority leadership and strength this will mean more later on when we break down words and you'll see how all this works and comes together through each, through what each letter represents. And then we will combine these meanings and get some quite powerful in-depth meanings of Hebrew words. So I want these teachings to be simple and easy to understand. Next time I'll be teaching about the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is the letter Bet. So until then, may Yahweh watch over you and your loved ones. May Yahweh protect you and keep you safe. Blessings and Shalom. Thank you for watching. We pray that this teaching has been a blessing to you. For more information, please go to www.ancientfoundationbiblefellowship.com. Shalom.